Hello, Todd Bog here with Breaking the Stream, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium 5. Uh, we're going to be doing our mod series again, and uh, we're going to take a look once again at the complete overhaul mod. Um, we do have the Quiet Summon Sound mod on as well by request of a viewer. Um, so we're going to start up a new game. I was looking at a few different options, um, thought about like the Enchanter or the Illusionist, but taking a look at the update that the creator had for those, it wasn't much of an update. Um, they said themselves they only spent like a couple hours at most um, on that update. So didn't look like it had the big changes that uh, I'm looking for to, to kind of spice it up. So instead, um, the one that they seem to have put a lot of work into that might be fun to revisit is the Necromancer. So um, I know it's been a while since I played a Necromancer. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so we'll choose that. We're going to select them as unique random players. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. So I'm interested to see because uh, essentially the big changes uh, from the description, no more human troops. Everything is undead. Lots of new uh, units and populations and things like that. So I'm not sure how this is going to look. So. All that looks good. Uh, looks like we start with two apprentices. That's a nice little change. Let's see. What do you have? Okay, yep, we start Bane Fire Bows, regular skeletons, armor long dead. Okay, two armor. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, the fact that they don't heal is the balancing factor, right? Bane Bows, that's pretty good. Um, spell wise, got dark power, uh, doesn't affect lifeless beings, so that's great. Although it's three strikes. Clouded Death, Decay. Um, that one isn't as good. Only because it will kill all our skeletons, so we'll switch over. Reanimation, Raise Long Dead. And, oh, wait, Reanimation. Just making sure it summons a Solace. Yep. Just making sure there wasn't any changes. Raise Long Dead and Decay. Okay. So we got some interesting spells. Uh, we got a bunch of giant locusts here. That is. Not a good thing to start next to, wondering wise, but uh, let's see. Gallows, we definitely want to take those gallows. I thought we would start with the gallows. That's why we have no hands. So this is an interesting spawn issue. Um, anyways, let's take a look at our recruitment. Uh, so yeah, we can basically do our usual thing. And um, let's see, look clumsy, all the usual things, right? Nothing changed there. Um... Banefire Catapult, though, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So the Banefire will cause decay on hit. That can be very useful for Siege. Uh, Bane Bones. Uh, let's see. Okay. One armor. Yeah. Nothing crazy here. This is so everything's going to be about the undead. Do we not have the ability to determine the dead here? Oh, uh, let's see. Cannot feel the presence of dead here. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got raised dead, dark knowledge. Uh, let's see. Gather cattle. In order to raise a legion of the dead, the living are required. An apprentice or some other minion is typically tasked with luring people into horde villages that lie directly under the gaze of a necromancer or some other dark thing. Must be adjacent to a citadel and one tile away from other villages. Let's see. Oh, okay, so it creates a village. Interesting. Okay. And that's 15 gold. Cull the herd. Uh, to prevent the living from getting too uppity, it might send an apprentice to thin the ranks by legal means. Must be adjacent to a village. It must be one tile away from other gallows. So it creates a gallows. Adjacent to a village and one tile away from other gallows. Okay. So there's our, our, our steps there. Corpse repository. Um, adjacent to a village within three tiles of any citadel, but at least one tile away from other graveyards. Okay, creates graveyards. And Blight the Land. Uh, can only be cast in forests and jungles. Awesome, so that's a way to just get rid of those stupid ancient forests, hopefully. <coughs> Mummification. Animates a pair of mummies. Cast in temple and pyramids, and was slightly more effective in the latter. So pyramids, obviously. More powerful undead forms that reform in their home temple if they should be slain. So... Vampire Lair, nice. Uh, seek to dabble in the vampiric. F must first seek out a dilapidated castle, for that is where the vampire resides. 
sometimes none are available so yeah basically lets you build uh must be adjacent to a dead forest for proper feng shui um so lets you build um what you need for a vampire lair that's good unearth temple uh let's see uh, so first seek out a temple to hide a phylactery. Any necromancer worth his salt will remember his good friend archaeology and seek to unearth some ancient forgotten temple buried under the earth. Three tiles of a citadel and five tiles from the nearest temple. Um, build new citadel. Okay, so we can just do that. Which sounds like we need to if we want to do uh, scaling. Summon Death Knight. Um, new recruitment options. Emorian Shade. Um, new recruitment options and moving night. Uh, for all manners of vampires and liches to relocate the coffin phylactery. Wraiths are not bound to a location not affected as such. They are, however, able to help others move, making them the doomed rows of the undead world. Okay. Interesting. That's, that's kind of neat. So those are the abilities we have. And then uh, let's just make sure. Grave robbing. Typically spend all their time doing the heavy lifting, such as it were, raising an undead horde. A particular industrious can unearth uh, apprentice can unearth a couple dozen corpses in a month. But like other apprentices, uh, they do have a lazy streak. So casting graveyards takes two turn or two months essentially to do that. And then what do you have? Looks like all the same stuff. So awesome. All right, well, let's take our merry force and let's go free up our gallows, I guess. That's uh, going to be very useful to do. Murder some serpents and see where we're at. Battle in the gallows. Pretty easy. All right. We got our gallows now, so we're getting our hands of glory. That's good. 17 giant locusts. All right. So I have nothing I can recruit here other than this Banefire catapult, so that's going to be interesting. There's a port here. Other than the three longbow, I think we're in good shape, so we'll probably attack that, especially with our Banefire stuff. Autumn's here. Go ahead and take that, and then I'll make sure that if we lose our citadel, we're okay. Battle and ocean. Oh, I did not see that. Okay. I did not see the silly ballista. All right, well, whatever. We lost uh, armored long dead and banefire archers. That's fine. So give me just a sec here. Sorry, just had to clear my throat, so. Okay, so we have Oceanville, that's good. Hands of Glory, Gold, Trade. So I gotta use my trade here. Probably buying iron for now. Um, stupid things, all right. So we can probably raise some dead here. Sigisbert. All right, that's very useful because that's exactly what we need. Let's put Sigisbert under our control. Sigisbert, we still have the insanity mechanic. Yep, 12, okay. So we'll uh, chill here and I think we'll kill the locust next. Uh, of course they run away. They must've heard me talking, so. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and recruit. Uh, none of them can be converted here, huh? All right. All right. I need to clear out all this stuff here. So let's just let's not beat around the bush. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys. Thank you. Of course, you both threaten, but we'll go ahead and crush you because I want to do that first. The Solus will definitely keep us protected here, so. Nice and easy there. Ten archers. I don't have the 95 gold, but that's okay. I will now have control of my area. I probably should have taken that coastal hamlet first, but... 
All right, barbarian has been eliminated. Okay. Oh, fish bishop. Okay. Let's see, we're in the late winter, so that's going to melt, so I definitely don't want to do that. Uh, we'll just head here. I'm going to probably start looking at uh, gathering cattle and doing all that too. So I think you got to do it in a plains, unfortunately. So this is absolutely ter terrible for our economic reasons. Spring is here. You're just chilling there. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's double check here. So gather cattle, flat terrains. I wonder if you can do that in the desert then. Let's Move here. You can. So we'll gather cattle. Boom. Village. All right. Let's gather cattle. Must be one tile away. So and from other villages as well. I should have probably looked at that. Yeah, that's really the, these are the only two spots. Okay. So did that. Now what was the next step here? Call the herd. Adjacent to a village and one tile away from other gallows. And three tiles. Okay. <coughs> so we'll call the herd. Uh, let's see. So it'll create a gallows. And uh, we'll create ourselves a graveyard, I guess. So. Uh, let's see. There is small amount of dead sensed here, but that's not necessary. Okay. All right. I should use you, huh? Um. <coughs> Call the herd. Or so. Call the herd gives me gallows. Um. Let's do the corpse repository first. <coughs> Only reason is because um, it gives us corpses, right? No, it does not. I thought it would. All right, well, you live and you learn. All right, let's go ahead and uh, call the herd. I don't have the gold. I need 40 gold. Darn it. All right. Well, we'll chill there. Fish Bishop. Oh, Fish Bishop. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go crush Fish Bishop because he stole my gold making. That should be an easy fight with our decay and other spell casting elements. We lost a long dead, but let's view it again. I wanted to see what spells he has. Resist magic and healing words. Okay. So. Excellent. All right. So. It does change it from a desert to a non-desert terrain. That's useful. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and use Rupert to cull the herd. Uh, there we go. Another gallows. A lot more hands. So mummification needs a temple or a pyramid. That takes 100 gold. Only in an infernal citadel. Okay, so I think we're just going to have to save up for a grand mastery. I don't know what else to use the hands on right now, right? Um, infernal citadel. Dark knowledge, huh? Uh, that could be useful to cast. Let's do that. Alright. Where is that? <laughs> there you go. Oh boy, that is not very nearby, is it? Um, oh my god, stupid Kraken. I didn't even see that. Alright. All the seafaring creatures are just being annoying. Alright. Kraken on my walls. 
All right. Yeah. Unlike in my other games where Krakens end up being uh, Holy Crusaders, they did not stand a chance there. Silvermine, beautiful. I can use that. Ten archers for 107 gold. All right, we'll just uh, play it simple there, and we'll raise the dead here as well, I think. All right. Long dead and soulless, that's fine. Orb of projection would be nice, but we don't have the gold. Um, all right. Transfer. Rupik? Nope. Sigisbert. Use your special powers to raise the dead. No, just the skeletons, huh? Transfer Sigisbert. And, uh, yep, we're good. All right, looks like we're good to keep moving, so. And then what do we need to build a dark citadel, just out of curiosity? Let's see, must be minimum five tiles and 100 gold, 50 iron. So, yep, getting iron was a good idea. All right, Snow, go away. Oh boy. Slow going, but I do need these corpses. Okay, there we go. Uh, another easy fight there. No ballista this time. So we'll go ahead and take this port here. Starting out with Banefire definitely makes things a little bit better, so. Yeah, we lost some more of our dead, so. Um, Alright. <coughs> Alright, where are you at, Sigisbert? You are at 17 Sanity. Okay, we can take a chance. You're crazy, of course. That's fine. Go ahead and overrun them. I'll do some scouting and hopefully we'll be able to raise the dead with Sigisbert. Mm -hmm. I should check Sigisbert. Good. Let's use your special powers. Excellent. All right. We'll go ahead and move to return. Yeah, we might be able to run the battles without Solus now. Get us a little more speed to go out and scout. So let's do that. Transfer all. Remove the slow to defend. And take Sigisbert with us. Because he is another caster, if nothing else. Just a regular forest. Okay. All right, white. You're not gonna drain life from my undead. Good, we got some good stuff up here. All right. So, yep. Yeah. Nice. All right, graveyards under our control. I guess we'll go with the coal mine because that's economic. And we're getting close to being able to become a level 3 battle in a coal mine. Alright. I think. I'm trying to think. I guess I could do that for a little extra scouting before I crash in and kill this. I should always double check, right? But I, I forgot to. Okay. Um, recruit-wise, anything other than the catapults? We're defending with Solus here. Otherwise, I think this is all pretty well protected. So yeah, we're good. 
not protected per se, but uh, not in any danger. Sorry, not in any danger, in case you couldn't hear me over all the um, didgeridoos. Uh, let's see, definitely don't want to leave Banefire archers, but I can leave a couple regular archers here. That should be sufficient to keep deer and other things from taking my stuff. All right, and two turns we'll have our level three necromancer. Yep, that's a nice easy fight for us. And we're gonna get a sweet town as well. Nicely done. All right, let's let old Sigisbert out. You're not crazy. Your insanity is getting close though, so let's go ahead and raise the dead. There we go, that's what I needed. Needed some numbers there. Uh, let's get rid of the slow guy. Let's transfer Sigisbert. He's pretty much at the point where I don't feel super confident with uh, leaving him or using him for raising the dead anymore. I could create vampires now with that dead forest next to us. Elven cloak, huh? All right. Necromancer's Apprentice, that's probably a good good call here, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and do that Ritual of Grand Mastery. So now we can do Planar Swap, Archaeology, so uh, unearthing battlefield is important hobby for self-respecting necromancer to have. Though it may take weeks or months of hard toil and require much funding, the benefit of finding ancient sites in battle or cat catastrophe speak for themselves they usually say something along the lines of rattle and boys can only be cast in flat so that might give us corpses which would be useful upgrade citadel uh so this is how we get to our um in order to have a strong enough connection to hades perform the most advanced rituals a lich must dabble in demonic rituals in order to model a citadel after those found in inferno and hades may only be cast once in each plane lest the lich track unwanted attention choose wisely Required for Portal of Death and all new Commander Summoning Rituals. Okay. Portal of Death. By using his connection to the world of living, the vast necromantic powers afforded to him and focusing power on the Citadel of Death, Grand Necromancer may make a portal link directly to Hades. Okay, so you can get there. Ghost Lord. Elder Amorian. <coughs> Boneward Bound. Opens a gate and returns to a Citadel. Uh, Cannot be cast in the presence of a vampire count. FXID restriction feature request may or may not be added. Blah, blah. Okay, so got it. Bonaport. Uh, to teleport to a desired location. <laughs> Cannot be cast in the presence of a vampire count. Okay. Um, call Lord of the Underworld. Calls upon Prince of Death and attempts to convince him of his dedication to an ending. Oh, nice. So you can get a Demon Lord, um, but it looks like it's not guaranteed. And raise an Amorian Legion. So a Legion of Ghosts can be cast on an old battlefield. So, nice. So you've got some interesting stuff. I should probably look at creating a new Citadel. Um, two, three, four, five. So I can probably create one here. So let's kind of work our way to this spot. Um, let's use special powers. Ah, Raven Spies might be useful. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's raise some dead here. Okay. Keep you protected. All right. One, two, three. So next turn, we should be able to probably create a Dark Citadel there. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and create ourselves some Banefire Archers. Nice. Perfect. All right. Um, what is your insanity? Only seven, so not bad. We'll chill. We're going to bring those Banefire Archers out, I think, is the intention here. 
20 Pikeneer for 178 gold could be useful. But let's go ahead and build a new citadel. Perfect. All right. So now with the new dark citadel here, oh, I should have done it a little further up, but that's okay. Um, Ruprik. Let's see. Four corners, that's what I gotta think of. So we'll go here and gather cattle. Ah, stupid snakes. Where'd you come from? Something over here, I'm sure. All right, Roderick, you'll just grab everybody here and let's go ahead and gather cattle here as well. This will get us our gold income up as well as, of course, more hands of glory actually you can move one more we'll move you here all right and then we can chill huh? bumper harvest i knew the boars were going to come i knew they were going to be an ass so um roderick should be able to take on uh, the three boars right yeah of course i'll do that you will go up here and let's gather cattle and you will gather cattle all right so we've gathered the cattle we can cull the herd adjacent to a village and one tile away from other gallows let's also be within three tiles of a citadel so in order to maximize that for gallows, we can do a gallo gallo. Let's see if we do gallo gallo. Yeah, we can do gallo and gallo there. We can do a gallo here and a gallo there and a gallo there, I think. Okay. Yeah. Now we're in a pure terraforming mood mode here, so Get these hands of glory going again i'm not looking at this mod as a balance mod i'm looking at this mod as just a fun mod so uh so we were talking let's see if we did gallo there that doesn't change anything so gallo here so let's do that rupert uh cold her no corpse repository Oh, no, that's for graveyards. Oh, yeah, cold the herd. That's the one we want. Uh, three tiles. So let's cool the herd. And then... Let's see. Cold the herd does cost three movement points, but I wanted to check to see if this counts. Yeah, you can't cool the herd, so... Um, so we'll just do it here. Cull the herd, and then we'll probably we're gonna cull the herd here. That's a lot of gold, but we're definitely getting our uh, hand income up super high. Um, so yeah, we got to come over here, and that'll be the other cull the herd. And then apparently we got to go murder some snakes. Okay, yeah, we'll take care of those snakes. All right. So, at this point, I kind of want to kill this. It's poison, won't do anything to us. So we'll do that. You, sir. Come down here. Uh, so you can drop one more there. We'll drop one here and then we'll come take care of the snake. All right. Huge investment in my future, but obviously it makes sense. Nice and easy there. Oh, I forgot to look at my chill the dead. Okay, one to three, armor negating. Doesn't affect undead, doesn't affect lifeless beings. 
We are neither, so it would affect us. Oh, it's a burst 25. I was thinking of this entire battlefield, like Shade of Death. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this stuff here. So Beautiful. Yeah, I forgot to check for that. All right, rubric. Let's go ahead and call the herd here. And I believe we've done what we can for our maximized economy here. Other than maybe dropping a graveyard. How do we want to do this? I need you to go kill the snakes first. You can bring the... Uh, or actually, we can just bring you over and do that there. So, perfect. Alright. Raven Spice. Okay. I didn't even look to see what he was scouting. But this looks like a useful place to be anyway. So... Here, here, and Gold Herd. Beautiful. All right. You've called the herd. Let's see. Yeah, we'll build a corpse repository. Why not? You're stuck. All right. So, well powered up. Uh, you guys are about as powered as you can be, unfortunately. So, you'll march back. And you should probably rejoin. Kill them. And, of course, the long dead have created out of the graveyard. We'll clean this up, and then we'll go ahead and call it for this uh, for this video here. Necromancer's Apprentice. Okay, it's... Ah, King's Troops have come up. Okay, we're just going to come there. He'll come up too. We'll be able to crash into them. Oh, of course, the one... T ah, so close. Stupid insanity. 7% chance, you know? That's how it goes. Alright, Roderick... We're going to do that because I need the resources. We're at 265 already, huh? Let's see. Three tiles of Citadel, five tiles from Nearest Temple. So might be useful to cast that, but uh, we're coming together to murder this. Need our coal mine back. Almost done cleaning up here. All right. And so I do want to create a temple. Okay, so the snakes were looking to threaten us. We'll go ahead and get rid of them. And then we'll see where we're at. Okay, battle and plains. Desert. So good. Alright. Ten archers for 99 gold. Okay, so we have cleaned up our area. I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Um, so definitely you can see the Necromancer had a lot of thought put into it. I'm curious to see how it'll stack up uh, against some of the other classes as we get this thing rolling. We have a lot of new rituals to look at, so I'm really excited to see where this goes. So I hope you guys are too. Um, thank you again for your patience as I get my upload schedule uh, back on track. And uh, I hope you guys will join me to see where this goes. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.